So I did my best to um, <laughs> look at a diagram and then draw my own, okay? So you got the front of the max, you got the rear of the max, right? You take the wheel off, right? Now you got your charcoal canister box. Never mind my spelling. So you already know that the vent control for that box is attached to it and it has a big hose that goes to the back and it I guess takes in fresh air meanwhile it has a water separator so it sucks in fresh air okay boom that's just one part and you already know that there's two ports on this canister that have hoses that come from them so the inside hose the smaller one goes to the cut valve which is the white diaphragm this white diaphragm has four ports one two three four so what I'm guessing is it all starts at the fuel tank the fuel tank has fuel vapor that makes its way through its own hose up to where the filler neck is. And there's a hose that runs from the fuel filler, right? And it takes that fuel vapor from you pumping in gas and from the fuel tank and it sends it down to that cut valve. Now this uh, bypass solenoid right here. Which I was calling a purge valve. It's like a green connector on it, right? So I guess it allows fuel vapor to pass through this cut valve, this white diaphragm into the canister and the air helps with you know pushing this fuel vapor breaking it down over the charcoal and then letting it come back through the exit port and go through its own hose that's a hose to the t fitting or the y whatever t fitting one side of this t fitting is going to go through another hose to that pressure sensor with the gray connector that's bolted up high. The other part of that T-fitting goes to an EVAP hose, the thickest hose there, right? The longest hose there, and it's gonna route it to the front of the car. So now you got whatever fuel vapor was broken down by charcoal bits and whatever is left of it will make its way to go to the front of the vehicle. So now, if you stand in front of the vehicle, looking down beneath your uh, brake booster and you take out the air cleaner assembly, you will see a metal shiny hard line coming from underneath the front of that firewall. Right, and it's gonna have a thick hose that goes up to that bracket that's bolted to the top of the intake manifold right near the throttle body and it's going to have two hard lines a small one and a thick one so that evap hose is going to connect that big hose to the thicker part of the hard line. So now the small hose goes to the top of the black diaphragm, which is your EVAP purge cut valve. That black little house, right on top of the intake manifold, it has a little small partition vacuum intake hose connection right there. So the small hole is going to go on the top. The big hose, which is your evap hose, is going to be on the bottom 
that is the hard line portion right there that is on the bracket. It has another thick hose that goes to the base of that. And then it also on the other side, sorry, it has an outlet for that big hose to another hose that sends whatever went through this evap purge cut valve and it sends it through the hose to the evap purge volume control valve. The step motor, the one that's bolted to the top of the intake manifold that has like a little tan, min, min, brown, whatever. So there's two hoses connections for that one. It takes in from one side and it sends it through the other side. And it goes directly down into the intake manifold for that fuel vapor that's broken down to be sent back through your emissions. So that is what I'm getting from this diagram. It all starts at the fuel tank plus the fuel filler neck and that's where it takes in all that fuel vapor and it sends it through to be broken down through a, through a vacuum cut valve, the white diaphragm, plus that little bypass. What is it for? I guess it controls how much fuel vapor at a time goes through. Well, it's like a little bypass, so it's just, you know, it's got gas or fuel vapor just chilling in there. And it's just like somewhere for it to go. It has a connector to it, so I guess it's part of a, a measuring system. Sends it into the canister. The canister is already sucking in fresh air from the rear of the vehicle. Sorry about my arrows going the wrong way. And that vent control... I guess it's just controlling how much air is taken in at a time. And it helps with um, ushering and pushing this fuel vapor over the charcoal being broken down. And it has a little outlet, outlet port that it goes through. And then there's a pressure sensor. So I guess it's checking what comes out of the canister. And, you know, again, it's readings. So that way the ECM, the ECU, the computer is telling it like how much pressure is coming through. Is your canister okay? Is too much pressure making it pass? So it's a measuring component, I guess. So, yeah. So what I would like to find is this evap hose from the rear and make sure I don't have any charcoal bits that are still in this line that haven't got sucked through yet waiting to be sucked through because somebody else had this issue and they said they use compressed air whether it was in a can that you could buy to auto parts or whether they had some shop air or whatever have you and they blew through the lines so if your system in the rear is sealed with everything connected you won't be able to vacuum out your evap hose from the rear to the front of the car so when you put back all of this stuff on the front it's gonna do what it's supposed to do and send whatever's in the line towards the front 